welcome, 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 welcome to Homestead Heart, and today we are going to roast some asparagus. Let's do this. So, this is going to be really simple, really quick for roasted asparagus. All I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my asparagus, and I'm going to cut off the ends of my asparagus, because the ends can be really, really rough, right? So we're going to take the ends off, and these are some pretty big spears. So we're going to get the ends all off of these. If you have a compost pile, then yep, they can go directly into your compost pile. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this out of the way. This is so easy. When you're trying to get your family dinner on the table, this is the easiest, fastest thing that you can make is some roasted asparagus, okay? So let's get this in the bowl, in the pan. Do I need to bring you closer? Yeah. All right. So we got these in the pan. This is how I do it now. I know other people may have different ways of doing their roasted asparagus, but this is the way I do mine, okay? So now, the first thing I'm gonna do, and this is what you're gonna need, basically some asparagus, as much as you wanna eat for you and your family. You're gonna need some, a couple of cloves of freshly chopped garlic, a little salt and pepper, and some olive oil. So now let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my olive oil, and then I'm going to just drizzle right over the asparagus, about a tablespoon of olive oil. Then I'm gonna give that a toss in the oil, because I want it to be coated on both sides, okay? Look at that, that is so beautiful. Asparagus is just so beautiful, so delicious to me. And Jackson has to bark at people who are nowhere near this house. All right. Okay, so now that I have my olive oil, I'm going to sp sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt right over the top. That's it. And then I have some freshly chopped garlic right here. Freshly chopped. And I'm going to just put this all over. This is about three cloves of garlic. Just gonna drop that right on top of my asparagus. If you have garlic powder, that works too. But these are fresh cloves. All right, and it smells so good. Now if you want, you can add other seasonings to this if you like. Me, I'm gonna add one more seasoning one more seasoning to this did i pull it out hmm okay one second how could i basil fresh basil right over the top there are no, I don't have any measurements for this. I just kind of eyeball it. The fresh basil. Right over the top. And that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is going to go into a 400 degree oven. For about 20 minutes. If that. See? This is all I'm fixing. Isn't that beautiful? Real quick and real easy. Nothing spectacular about it, but just quick and easy roasted asparagus. All right, the oven has been preheating. Um, I said 400, it's actually 450. So I've preheated my oven to 450 degrees. I am going to get my asparagus in the stove. It was dark in there. And that is gonna stay in there for about hmm, 15, 20 minutes. All right, and my roasted asparagus is done. I'm gonna grab this out of the oven. And that is it. It roasted 450 degrees. I had that in there for 16 minutes. And I'm going to get this plated up here in just a second, show you what it looks like. Okay, welcome back, y'all. Roasted asparagus, all set, ready to go. I like my asparagus like this. I don't like them all limp. I like them to have a little bit of a crunch to them. I don't like them to be all limpy and falling apart. I was actually going to make a dill sauce to go over this roasted asparagus, 
but because of the sauce that I have from my salmon dish, I figure I don't need that many sauces. This is going to be perfect just like it is. It has amazing flavor. Let me show you. Amazing flavor from the garlic and the olive oil. Y'all, these got some crisps to them too. They are so delicious. Yeah, I tried one. I couldn't help myself. Okay. And I got these on the plate with my garlic mashed potatoes, my Tuscany inspired salmon dish as well. So I got all three of these paired together. I will put a link to the cards above so that you can see the videos just in case you missed it on the, uh, the, uh, my garlic mashed potatoes and my Tuscany inspired salmon dish. You can follow along with those as well. And I do indeed hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how I make my roasted asparagus. If you did, please give me a big like, big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And y'all, we thank you again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to you all. We will see you next time. Mm -mm. Let's get to it.